So they, they're going to be able to roam into the jungle quite easily, but they need someone to actually start the fights. Uh, it's important to note that, you know, Ike's coming through. Dist Distill doesn't have boots, so he can't utilize the Predator. His oh. rune is a teleport. This is three versus one. Bin's about to go into Mega now. He's trying to kill a minion, so he gets that bar up. He gets stunned, though, and nuked to death. Ike gets first blood. and They want to make sure Bin never gets going in this game. They do want to find Eyeboy. He's just dead. Yep, Oops. over to Juan Fong. Caught out backing. He's... And I feel like Rare Adam can just keep their distance here and try to whittle them down slowly in the 5v5s. Rare if they... Adam also Ooh, had go. that burst in range. Where's he going? Up, oh, Batman. Up to the top lane. Uh, Ikes is here. He wanted to use a Herald, but now on top of Bin, the Solar Flare lands down perfectly as well. Cube picks up the kill. There's the proactivity from Rare Adam. The Herald for the Drake right here. And as Unleashed as Power. As oh, die. is it in the outplay button? Angel takes a shock blast. The fuck over from Cube. <laughs> oh, the geometry. We're in three dimensional space with the one for one trade. As the Paddle Star set up for On, he has the Unbreakable Will. Not really, but that was sick. And that was a massive play because they actually stopped the Drake in the bottom side, too. So this is just a pure one up on the side of Rare Adam. They're going to use it immediately. They get the mid lane tower. And the map is completely... That's why you play Eclipse on Jace. Very well done yeah. on his part. As we're going to see a 1v1 here. Uh, does SOFM win this? That's the real question. If Cube gets the cooldowns, but into the melee range, <laughs> he's not able to. And Olaf just flashes. and has been falling off that much. So, unfortunate for Cube. Actually has to burn the flash to get out. Uh, not, he burned the flash earlier, but actually just falls there. Oh, uh, but he has no Ragnarok here. Uses the gap close with the Gale Falls. And Eyeboy picks up the kill, so... SOFM giveth, SOFM taketh away as Bin walks in, blind into this brush. I think the control ward around the side didn't pick up Hung. He has you to know, that Nah is going to... Uh, have you seen My Hero Academia, Clement? Have you, do you watch anime? I have to pause. Hung actually going in. Maybe it's glad we're pausing as Hung gets half health and Ragnarok used immediately. Shock Blast burns down a bit of HP. Ike does the same with the Comet Spear and Rare Adam have the shove in mid. They've done enough to look for the in inner turret. But On's coming in. Onto Cube, they flash on in. Scatter the Week, not in range for yet, but it does hit the mark. Cube's still there, absorbing damage. Eclipse gives him the movement speed. They use everything to kill him in the end. Another kill for Suni. Yeah, Huan Fong does... Uh, Bin is actually online and in the game, where he probably needs to wait for Steric's Gage. That's third. And if Rare Adam are setting up their vision correctly on those brushes, not a lot they can do. Whoa. Well, this is a bit of a pick here. The combo comes out. Hung takes all the damage. Unleashed power as well, but that's a lot of ultimates used to kill the support. Nevertheless, Suning have found a pick and there's nothing Rare Adam can find on the other end. That was really smart on Suning's side. Even though Leona can stop the ultimate Woo! coming in from Misfortune, not if she's dead. So they just focus fade and switch coming in from Rare Adam. Suning think that they are contesting against the Ocean wow. Soul, but actually Rare Adam are sneaking away from Baron completely uncontested. Holy well five head, brother. Rare Adam Lopo's just... here as well. Now you need to steal from SOFM. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. Angel still does have that Banshee, so he's not going to fall down. One Fong over the wall gets poked down. On takes another chunk. Fofo has a fake flash. Might have to burn it as SOFM chasing up. Undertow connects. Bin's here, but Mega about to time out. Fofo with the range connects onto SOFM. And he takes yet another. The poke continues out, and this is what happens. Rare Adam love the poke battle. They win it every time. They took a lot of damage, but they have those Ocean Drakes running for them, so they're not afraid to continue this one. Eyeboy, however, is in a very awkward situation. I, I don't like his positioning whatsoever. Oh, comes in uh, from Ike. So Hunk goes in for the engage. The Solar Flare there. Unleash power onto the support. Once again, they use a Gale Force, so when Ike goes in, the Scatter Week, beautiful. Ike's even getting chunked down pretty heftily. He puts up the shield while Huan Fong is doing his diligence. Me. Teleport comes in and, and Bin just has to back away. Is he going to be able to get back in time? The answer is no. SOFM exhausted down. Soul given over. And with that, Suning's chances in this game diminish, it feels like, as Cube runs on in. This chase is humongous. As the other teleport, I think Bin may have been a little bit inty with that one. He needs to run, takes another shock blast, and this game could have just been put in the bin. <laughs> nice pun over there. No, Rare out intended. going in with the Ocean Soul. They have so much HP at this point. There's only two members to defend this one. And looking at the timers, there's 30 seconds here. So I think Rare Artem are going to be able to take this one into a W. Well, into the inhibitor, Clement, you're right. Death timers are pretty long on some core carries. And 
Rare Adam now have the minion wave coming in. Bin trying to clear it into the Mega Nar shortly. Rare Adam might have to space out as Ons there as well. Stunned up immediately. The top laner at half health gets trouble bubbled as he evolves into a weird position. SOFM's respawned, but it's a bare nexus and Rare Adam here. Still want to find the kills to end the game calmly. They're in no threat, no danger, and SOFM has no life. First game over to Rare Adam to destroy the world finalist. And that was Rare Adam setting the tone for the series. We had a lot of question marks. How is this slam hard? And Rare Adam, they are going to throw some engage. Hong has been doing very, very good on the engage champion so far this series. They do have a bottom side holding onto his Narbar at a very healthy state. The question now is, can he survive the game? Because he's going to have to burn a flash. Does it against the wall. Undertow connects. It's double flash from Rare Adam. First blood to cube. And that commitment was... He will have to back off. Okay, and uh, yeah, everything goes back to normal. All right, Clement, we know Sooning are going to play slow. Doesn't matter the style of comp. We know they'll start clearing this away. Bin spots him. And Angel's coming in as well. Ragnarok's available. This is three versus one, but the Olaf feels pretty good in this situation. Undertow behind the Pantheon. Takes the Unleashed Power, though. SOFM gets low until Fofo jumps on in. The paddle start melee range steals the flash, burns his own over the wall. It, it, the first gank is kind of break, going to break open the entire map and decide how these Drake fights are going to end up. So this Herald is extremely important. When both sides are sort of stalemated, the first punch is going to decide a lot of things. And Sooning, do punch first. I mean, Ix has to burn the ult, he runs through, and Hung just goes out to die, maybe to save his jungler. It is a kill, and... Um, the question really is, can Sooning find an angle to get crowd control down and get a good bullet time in here? Pantheon comes in. Hang on. Skyfall flies across the rift. SOFM now low, though. The Blade Caller, when is it going to be up? Iboy pops his ulti. SOFM is so crisply low as everyone's there. Cube with a three-man Cyclone. He's getting tugged down as well. A one-for-one, one, make it two. As Rare Adam come out ahead for now, SOFM and Huan Fong actually walks away free without expending any of their flashes. This yeah. means that they're they're just actually going to run it again into the next team fight. Um, the Herald as well gets the charge and goes down uh, with the turret as well. Ike slows down. Remember, Ragnarok is still not up and available if he gets pulled in. Paddlestar connects as well. Eyeboy in a very weird position, but the smite disadvantage doesn't matter. SOFM gets it. The engage in onto the backline from Hung. The fight with bullet time laid up, but Cube interrupts it. The Wukong doing so much with Gore Drinker. He heals up an SOFM, not willing to go back in, but snipes him at the end of the play. Ike's wanted to snipe himself, but Bin manages to live and get away while into the ultimate <laughs> to disappear. Gonna win the top lane turret? Almost. Trying to hit that away is Fofo. Let's watch. Horizon focus there, and there you go. First time on becomes off. Fofo gets a big pick, and Rare Adam get another. Oh, that positioning from Hong was so sweet. He actually walks ahead of the Nautilus, blocks the Q from going out, and they get the 5v4. Okay, Trouble Bubble lands once again onto the Pantheon and Fofo and doesn't launch the Paddle Star. Level 14, Zoe now has three kills, and Baron was started up until Angel showed himself. They don't want to risk it. They don't have to. Uh, flanks, you can't really try for a concave. With that Shirelia's battle song, they can't decide on which way to go. So yep. if you're trying to sandwich them, they will just take the other side of your sandwich and run away with it. I like the idea from Q, but he is sitting on a ward right here. That's right. Didn't do the due diligence. Comes in over the wall into the pit. Dragon at 3k. Priorities there. Oh. They turn for the fight. Hung is altered as well with the quickness, but hasn't set up the engage. Bullet time. Lines down the middle, but no one's there. Angel using the unleashed power. He's scattered the weak. Legendary, but the damage already done. You know this fight's in the bin. And to speak of, Angel gonna follow suit. Juan Fong, good night. It was nice knowing you. And Rare Adam living up to the hype in this series. That was such a 200 IQ play from Cube. They see Bin chasing after him and they just pop over with the blast cone and go directly onto Sooning without their major tank frontline. Bin was actually late then. Sooning still have a very strong wombo combo, but Rally Rare Adam are gonna pull the trigger right here. Cube's found SOFM, gets the stun and you know what? With the spin now coming through, they wait for the trouble bubble to get towards the end of the duration and down he goes. No jungler for Sooning for 40 seconds, and Rare Adam can take what they want. No smite here either. Really good use of the Shirelia battle song. Ooh. On's going to be poking down really low. Bin's going to take damage. 
Rare Adams should be very comfortable in just starting up this Baron. They also have full vision of Angel, here. what are you doing here? Chilling Smite there into Ragnarok. He's going to go down as well. He didn't pay respect, and he knew they were there. Bullet time with the dredge line. Sooning are just all over the place, and now it looks like they might lose Baron. Sooning have had such difficulties actually picking their fights in this one. Their only engaged, reliable engage, is on on, and they just haven't made any use of this Sonya's Nautilus last pick whatsoever. Goes into troll bubble, dredge line there. Fofo is dead though. That's big damage from Huan Fong. They get the Baron anyway before the Pantheon ult can fly through. Huan Fong here, he has no bullet time, and that's only a clone from Cube on low, but. Finally, we see the Starfall fly through. Eyeboy doesn't get the stun down. In a choke, four of them low. They go for us with the Gale Force. But Rare Adam managed to get away. They're going to dive this, however. I'm not sure from Sooning's perspective. Ike's getting low into the wall. It follows through. Sooning have used Bin precisely well. Cube into his clone. It will be two kills immediately. And Sooning managed. More damage coming out from the back line at this point. The 80 carries have finally scaled up to the fact that... Uh, Ooh, they have a very good potential of actually just wiping down cube or on there. Off. Hung ulties, he flashes away. Troll bubble lands onto the bullet time. That only hits the clone in the end. And Fofo comes in over the wall and on. Takes another hefty chunk. Bin going into Megana. He wants to get the ulti. He sends him back into his team. But with Ragnarok, it doesn't matter. Bin too far removed from the rest of Sooning. He'll take damage from all five members while Cube zones him out. A two-man battle star as well. And Sooning are getting absolutely destroyed. Into the GA, the range of the battle star follow-up doesn't compute. While Angel here with a good scatter of the week will survive. Only one after what was such an exciting fight. But Rare Adam win out again. Bin tries his luck at the team fight. He Feels like he found the pincer, but in fact, he didn't get the wall stun. I'll be able to take this fight while in mini form. So we should see him heading maybe towards the bot lane wave to try and get some uh, Narbar up. But, but in the meantime, yeah. we're out of CF 5 v 4 If he goes there, he's going to sacrifice. And I think it's already too late. Cube knows, goes onto Huan Fong in the back line. The Wukong in a great position. Huan Fong ready with the bullet time. Flashes from Hung, though. That could be the difference as Hung dodges away from the rest of the bullet time. Eyeboy, meanwhile, has used the Feather Storm. And that's a Sooning win of the fight so far. Cube down for on. I'll take that trade any day of the week. It's been. Does have to expend Flash, but he does get out of it. So this is going to be okay. a critical Mormon. Yeah, if Rare Adam can find the steal, oh, they don't get it. They can't. No, Fofo flashes away and the fight continues on the back end with Bin. No Mega Narbar there, but there's no damage. It's on a control ward. Look how fast it's going down with Eye Boy. They want to burst it before there's any jungle interference, but he holds in Starfall. Not stolen, though. So Rare Adam play the 50 50 and they play it well with SOFM still in the middle of the pit. Ike flashes at the back of the pit for some reason as SOFM goes gold. Cube ready to re engage. Cyclone time, baby. Into the back line. Huan Fong kites himself away, and with the Lord Dominic's regard, he does such a good damn job. Eye Boy there as well, doing the same. And Fofo on to on, while meanwhile the Troll Bubble connects onto the top laner. That top laner. I don't know what Bin was thinking, but I think the Infernal Soul might just be gone. Secured by Rare Adam, and SOFM at half health doesn't commit to going in. Cube has the Cyclone available. Scatter the Week on top of him as well. They poke them down. The Infernal Soul is still here, and down goes Huan Fong. Sooning had a chance to bring back this game, but that was just the worst play that I've seen in this series. Yeah, that was a bit of a head scratcher incoming from Ben. He doesn't get anything out of his ultimate, and soon he's a little bit slow onto the rotation. That that was just horrible. Four dead, and what an anticlimactic way to end the series, Clement. Because without Baron, they're gonna run it through mid. Uh, Suning did have the summoner's advantage, but they play the last team fight absolutely horridly. Congratulations to Rare Adam. They get a great comeback game after their t top esports series, and they're just gonna close this one down in style. That they are. Rare Adam, at the very least, to be positive. A 2-0 against Suning after losing to top esports.